Now we can start to see why memorization is not the primary key. Okay, it, it, it's good. Memorization is good and it's a foundation, but it's not just the foundation, it's the application. If memorization was the focus, I wouldn't have to go down on the mats with the instructor when I'm studying martial arts. I wouldn't have to pick up a musical instrument. All I'd have to do is read a book, right? Memorization is the foundation and it's a start, but it's the actual exercise of applying this knowledge that prepares it, okay? Like the first bullet says, it gives you the tools, it gives you the context. It shows you what you're supposed to do. Now, there's three documents that PMI or Project Management Institute uh, provides in order to help you prepare. There's something called the Project Management Body of Knowledge or the PMBOK. It is a body of knowledge and it's aligned with international standard uh, 21500. It is good practice. It says if you follow these things, generally your projects will come out successfully. Okay, so you have a bunch of process and procedures, right? And you have some guidelines and recommendations. So you have this going on. And then PMI provides you an exam content outline. Okay, These, this content outline actually talks about the tasks a project manager generally performs. You know, they go about their day, they talk to people, they make decisions, they send out emails, they um, analyze, they review, they go to the experts and they decide, they go to the sponsor and they recommend. And so these tasks, actually line up with the project management body of knowledge. Project management body of knowledge gives you everything the work you work with as a project manager and the tasks are the duties you perform. So they go hand in hand, right? There's a third document that you work with. It's called the uh, code of ethics, which is the right and wrong way of doing things, right? The code of ethics applies to most of these questions. So you're going to have to know what is right and wrong. Now, there's two or three ways to do this. Number one, you can spend your entire life studying philosophy and studying the great readers and taking some classes and working up a personal code. But there's also a code of ethics that PMI, Project Management Institute, requires that you commit to. And it's up on the uh, um, Project Management Institute's website. At the bottom of this uh, document, I have links to the exam content outline as well as the code of ethics if you're interested in reviewing them. So ethics, what's right or wrong, is going to apply to most of these questions, isn't it? So you're gonna have to know these things and know how to behave morally and ethically, right? Now, right and wrong is interesting. It's not something like rules and regulations. Well, that's part of it. It's also about correct use. Um, for instance, a hammer. A hammer is designed to do some, some things, right? Put nails in wood. Well, a hammer also has the ability, because it puts nails into wood, of breaking windows. So what's the right use of a hammer? Putting nails into wood. And what's the wrong use? Breaking windows. It was made for one thing, but it can be do many things. Now, people are in this manner like hammers. We're made to do things. If you've not invested time in studying morals and ethics. The code of ethics is a good start. And if you are going to be moving into leadership, I would recommend that you start looking at this, what's wrong or right. Because again, these, these are not made up things. They're not like, you know, we came out with these out of the air. Um, no, 
they they're actually collected and analyzed and reviewed over thousands of years not hundreds thousands of years what's the right thing for people to do and a lot of these experts over the last few millennia have decided there's a few things that are the right things to do number one use our intellect analyze number two work as a group right we are much stronger as a group than we are as individuals so there's right or wrong use of these things we call humans this applies to the exam okay now i painted a broad picture and let's come back so it's the application of this knowledge what's right or wrong what are the tasks a project manager generally performs and what are the things and tools and skills that help a project manager get work done that makes project work successful and that's what the exam is measuring so you're going to be doing a little bit of memorization and and the question changes a little bit now what do i need to memorize what do i need to focus on i don't want to just spend the next 20 years learning everything i want to pass this exam within a few months we're going to look at that and figure out how to answer that question in a bit but it's not just memorization but the application how do i memorize how to take this knowledge and use it to solve problems crisis management risk management management to what we call ambiguity you can't figure things out what do you do 